Giuliani, developing news tonight, the Biden administration could loan $1.5 billion to Holtec International as early as next month to restart Van Buren County's Palisades nuclear power plant. The plant, operational for more than 50 years, was shut down in May of 2022. Should approval come, the Palisades plant in Covert would be the first ever shuttered nuclear reactor in American history to be reactivated. Tonight, News Channel 3's Autumn Pitcher has exclusive access on site. Holtec International says the loan from the Biden administration would be transformative. Now, to get the plant back up and running, they need approval from the Department of Energy. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission also has to reauthorize power operations. Local, state, and federal support is shaping up to reopen the Palisades. Would you say that people want this here? They want this to be reopened. Yes, the support for Palisades coming back is overwhelming in this local community. With the Biden administration stepping up and Governor Whitmer pledging a $150 million investment from the state budget, the future of carbon-free energy is looking bright. States like Michigan look to transition from fossil fuels, having reliable, around-the-clock, clean electricity is absolutely essential. In a statement to News Channel 3, Governor Gretchen Whitmer said, quote, we are showing the world that Michigan will be an epicenter of clean energy production and do what it takes to save jobs, protect local communities, and deliver reliable power to homes and small businesses. The plant would create 600 jobs, according to Nick Culp, a spokesperson for Holtec. The average salary here on site when we're operating is approximately $117,000. Um, so that goes a significant way to provide a boost to the local economy. Holtec has submitted licensing actions to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, who said in a statement today, quote, NRC will only authorize the restart if Holtec shows usage of material in a safe matter to the public and environment. This is a historic opportunity for not only our state, but for the United States. Approval to reopen the plant from the Department of Energy is expected to come in the coming months. Now, if that approval were to come into fruition, Holtec International says they hope to reopen the plant by the end of 2025. In covert, Autumn Pitcher, News Channel 3.